In a world of glitz and glam, flashing lights and screaming fans, most people are unaware of the war that rages behind the scenes. And that war includes your favorite artist and your favorite songs. This is The Dark Side of Songwriting. Hosted by Naeem Edwards. Welcome to The Dark Side of Songwriting. My name is Naeem Edwards and I am your host. And today we have lyric cards because I was listening to an ESTG song from, I think it was his first project or it was one of the first mixtapes or whatever he put out. And it's a song called Die a Legend. And there were lyrics in the song that made me think like, are rap moms bad moms or do rappers hate their mothers? Now, you know, in this music shit, people always, oh, I want to thank my mama. My mama raised me. My mama was my everything. I didn't have no daddy. But we'll talk about that after we read the three examples that I have. One from ESTG, two other ones, and I'm not including Eminem because I don't have time to be here all day. So this was Die Legend. Was fucked up in my youth. I ain't get enough hugs. Born into gangs, I can't change. All my role models were studs. Going to school with fake shoes, it was bugs in my tub. I hated my mama. She dropped me off to go to the club. That is what invoked the thought. And I'm just like, damn, like, it really don't get no realer than that. Another example I thought about was the Lil Nas X song, Dead Right Now. And he says, mama told me she was going to stop fucking around with that nigga. Or Needle. You know, people, whatever, with the lyrics or whatever. Told me she was clean, but I'm knowing her ass a deceiver. My mama told me that she loved me. Don't believe her. When she get drunk, she hit me up mad with a fever like, whoa, you ain't even all that pretty. You ain't even all that nigga. You ain't helping me out. God never gonna forgive you. And then obviously I had to include one of my favorite future songs, which was Itching. Told my grandma, I don't need a bed. I'm sleeping on the floor. That one, you know, throw away. I just want to include that because it just kind of made me think. But I think that with these niggas, and they mamas, absolutely a lot of people are bad moms. Like we, we not gonna sit here and bullshit because a lot of these niggas wouldn't even have to be rappers because a lot of them just happen to fall into becoming a rapper or that's what they really wanted to do because they felt like that was the only thing that they was good at and they could, the only way they can make it out. And you know, all the bullshit, you know, these niggas are liars with everything. So it's kind of like, if you know your kid not that bright or you know your kid needs more law and order than you can provide, you will send them to the military. A lot of these niggas ended up in these kind of situations and to begin with, like not to become a rapper, but they went off and made decisions on their own and their mama was just like, all right, handle your motherfucking business. She, she didn't know shit. She was already... She's trying to keep her post office job or some shit like that. Her her one job with the benefits, you know what I'm saying, that she scraped tooth and nail to get. But we're not ignoring the fact that a lot of bitches are terrible at parenting. And that's why these motherfuckers go out here and they, aside from making their own decisions, obviously they go out here and just run wild and do whatever the fuck, especially these rappers. And I think that it's actually great that people are being more transparent about their relationship with their mother because a lot of this shit is where it starts. It's like, we can talk about dad being dead or dad not being there or dad being murdered, which will fall on the dead. But with dad, the situation starts and it stops. Mom is probably still alive and dad has a finite story. So dad didn't have to be there 24-7 or dad wasn't there 24-7. So your opinion of him is only based on the finite amount of time that you might remember him or the finite amount of time that, or the infinite amount of time that he wasn't there. So it's just like, oh, daddy won't there. I won't raise by him. He was a sucker. When it's just like your opinion kind of starting to stop there. You don't even know what type of, you can say fuck him and everybody understand that. Niggas is not going to understand 24 7 365 with 
a mama who's struggling to already, she live in a garbage ass environment. You probably a middle child or you the firstborn or you the youngest child. So shit ain't really balancing out for you as supposed to. She got to be at work all the time. So you got too much fucking free time to do whatever the fuck you want to. You can run and rip and handle whatever you want to, depending on what age you is. You might have jumped off the porch or you might have put yourself in other situations or you might have just been a, a casualty of whatever the war was that was going on. Raised by whoever the fuck was outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, people not bringing this shit into account. My damn mom might have a drug problem. Obviously, the poverty problem. Mom might have a, a goddamn young bitch problem. You know, it's, it's all type of shit. And I'm, I probably should have picked out more songs, but I just think a few examples is enough to convey the point that a lot of these niggas, mamas was garbage, but they forgive their mama for being a trash parent. When you really think about the definition of a garbage parent, they forgive her. Daddy gonna get every fuck you lyric that a motherfucker can muster up. We want to hear you say, fuck your daddy, but you don't have the same smoke and the same Anna as your mama when she argu arguably contributed to what your downfall was. No matter if it was on purpose or if it was by proxy. And that's just what my thought was. I, my verdict is, it's probably somewhere in the middle. Like I said, a, a motherfucking mama could have been doing the best that she could with whatever resources she had trying to keep her family together. She don't have time to worry about your knucklehead ass running and ripping and doing whatever the fuck you wanted to do. Because right, right after the ESTG line about uh, hating his mama, he dropped her off. She dropped him off to go to the club. It says, fast forward me to a plug. So, you know, if you dive deep into that, you had too much motherfucking free time. It wasn't nobody there to watch you. It wasn't nobody there to be your mother. It wasn't nobody, whatever. And I'm just using it as an example. I know his mama's dead. But, like, that's the case with a lot of people. And it would actually benefit. But then again, how do you put... Because niggas love their mamas in this rap. Niggas worship the ground that crazy bitch walk on in this culture. And this is just anybody's mama. Like, people love their mama no matter what. People usually unconditionally love their parents. But if you ever wanted to see how they really feel, felt about their parents, you'll look how they treat motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody like 50 Cent, for example, his motherly feelings come out in his shows and you have you ever noticed or his movies and his shows have you ever noticed in the 50 cent shows daddy is either like super street super whatever and that is just symbolism or and not or and or the daddy's not there but then mama is usually like a street bitch or she a good woman and then she gets murdered that's how he expresses his relationship with his mother because that is the story that happened his mama was a street bitch she was a drug dealer who got killed by somebody and nobody really knew and the case went whatever and he was raised by street niggas that's how he expresses his whatever opposed to other motherfuckers let's just say a little Nas X who I'm crying out and I don't know how to I can't even deal with my mama because of her drug issue I can't deal with my mama because my mama keeps calling me names and it's just better for me to step back. And he was raised by his father who is still present in his life. And he don't really have much of a whatever with his mama. You know what I'm saying? Every artist expresses their relationship with their mother or the past relationship or whatever. You know, niggas be like, oh, my mama. Like, like ESCG does that on my mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, so look at an artist or a, Eminem who goes fucking crazy but like you can look at 
whoever these motherfuckers was raised by and they will express in their music how they feel and what the relationship was. But no matter what, niggas love their mama and ain't going to be no disrespect of nobody mama. People put you in the weird rap category when you say, fuck my mama. She was a hoe who, who left me to go to the club. You know what I'm saying? So that was just my thought of the day about that. I felt like that was, that was something that niggas don't ever really talk about. Like the real life situation about it. But anyway, this is the Dark Side of Song, right? And we are back in the swing. And we got something fantastic coming for y'all next week. So my name is Naeem Elvis and I will holler at you.